Guys, welcome back to another peanut video. Today, we are going into endless mode with some of the most OP units to ever be released. How far can we make it? Make sure you stick around to see the end. Who knows? Maybe we end up on the leaderboard. Maybe we don't. But all I know is that I've got the upgraded Titan Clockman here, and we are going to make it far. This unit is absolutely insane. Now, in order to place this unit, we are going to have to save up quite a bit of money. So we're going to put our Santas down and our normal green laser cameraman over here. The usual OP start that everyone uses to get super far into this mode. And now, once we do those, we've also equipped the DJ TV man who's going to help us boost our damage. Come on, come on, come on. The chief clockman who also has a good amount of damage, but he's got an insane ability as well as a range boost for our other units. So we're gonna hope that he does a little bit better than the Hyper, which we could have used as well, but I think that the Chief Clockman is the better choice here. Now, I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. I don't know what the meta is, but this is what we're gonna try out, and maybe next time we'll try out something different. Obviously, ideally would be to have two people and someone else to hold that Hyper, as well as some of the other OP units that we could use to get further into this mode. But right now, we're trying to see just how far we can go so. We've got our first upgrades down on the Santa TV. We've got some money. We don't need to upgrade the green laser cameraman just yet. We're doing just fine. I do want to upgrade one of these Santas, hopefully before a wave eight hits. That way we can get maximum amount of money. Come on, so close. Ugh. Not close enough. All right, but we were it up. We were able to upgrade the two Santa TVs on that one wave skip. So hopefully that'll be enough. And then hopefully we can get another Santa TV here before the skip happens. But I just don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, that's not going to happen. The wave was way too far, but that's okay. We now have th all three at level three. Our green laser cameraman is doing good. So we don't have to worry about that. We can still focus some money on the Santa TVs to make sure we farm up that money as fast as possible and get our own units out there so they can just blast these toilets away into the lava we've got wave 10 the large glasses toilet coming in now we are going to give that upgrade to the green laser as soon as the wave skip happens until then we should be just straight chilling there we go give him an upgrade and then we can upgrade the santa tv as well look at that he's only level three and he is taking care of all these toilets completely on his own we're gonna give him one more upgrade just to make sure that he can take care of those toilets and then we're gonna go back to upgrading our santa tvs they are all level four they need a thousand dollars each for their next upgrades but that should be pretty easy once we start killing all these toilets look at that 850 perfect we can upgrade already two out of the three and then we should be able to upgrade this last one pretty shortly, 630. Yeah, that money's jumping up quick. We might even be able to do it before the round skips. If I get lucky, come on, we're missing $100. Oh, so close. It's always so close. But of course, I'm pretty sure that they plan it that way. And I guess I could put my green laser cameraman a little closer so that he kills the units faster. But this is the ideal spot for him on this map. Now, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't tested out any other spots, but I feel like this is a really good spot for him. He does a lot of damage and we get a lot of value out of him right here. So we're going to leave him there for now. He's still taking care of all these units on his own wave 15 he's not even fully upgraded and look at him nothing gets by absolutely nothing gets by 2000 there and then these are now all level six which is perfect getting a lot of money here units are starting to get a little far 
but he still covers a large area, right? So it should be okay, but we are gonna give him this next upgrade just to make sure things stay smooth. There you go, max level upgrade, and look at him just melt these toilets now. Absolutely the go. Well, we've now got a bit of money to spend. We do wanna make sure that we have all these units happening. So we're gonna go ahead and put our clock, chief clockman, sorry, down and then upgrade these slowly. But he's gonna help with some damage around the area as well as put these clock spiders that got 20,000 HP each and they're just gonna, you know, run in and do some damage. Another 3,000 there. We're doing good. Everything is looking good right now. We haven't run into any sorts of trouble. Smooth sailing from here on out, guys. Come on, let's do this. Stick around because you don't want to miss what's coming up. We're at wave 21 and the Mutant Toilet 2.0 is out here and is quickly approaching. We should be fine, but we have some reserve money just in case we need to spend it. Although I am looking on spending it on the Santa TVs here and max them out real quick. I want to get our max money fast so that we can start putting these OP units and upgrading them as fast as possible. The mutant toilet is taking a long time. Oh, it's because of this parasite toilet. He's been soaking up all the damage. That's okay. We've got enough money here to... Nah, we're going to be A-OK, -okay, guys. We're going to spend it on the Santa TV. We are chilling. Look at that. No worries whatsoever. We can even spend money over here now that our Santas are fully upgraded. And we also have his rewind toilet, which obviously we didn't need there. But, you know, it was a good safety net in case we needed it. And we're going to put our DJ TV here. I just, I don't want the DJ getting stunned because obviously when they get stunned, he loses, you know, all the units that he's boosting no longer get the boost. So we want to make sure that he's protected pretty much at all costs. And look at this, the damage boost. Look at the damage happening over here just from this Chief Clockman doing insane amounts of AoE damage and he's not even maxed out. All right, the DJ is fully maxed out. We're gonna next give this Chief Clockman another upgrade. He's gonna gain a little more range and do a little more damage. And then we're probably gonna put in the upgraded Titan Clockman. That's gonna be a beast. Let's put him right over here. Yeah, that's a perfect spot for him. He's in range. He's got the damage boost and he's going to cover the entire map once he's fully upgraded. I do want to max out my Chief Clockman first though. So he's going to stay at his basic cost for now. But guys, it is wave 28 and it is looking good. We've got our Clock Spiders going in. 200. Okay. You know, I'm not sure why they're only 200 HP, but it is what it is. Uh, I haven't quite figured that out yet. If someone wants to write down in the comment why they lose health, um, that would be greatly appreciated because I really don't understand why they're at 200 and then this one's at like 30,000. Doesn't really make sense to me, but hey, we're not going to judge the units, all right? They're doing their thing and we are super appreciative of it. We're now missing $3,000 for this next upgrade. Come on, we can do it, guys. Look at this damage going down. Wave 30, flying dual buzzsaw toilet boss now coming in with 678,000 health, but that does not matter. Look at it get absolutely melted. There we go. And this is the Chief Clockman's range. So pretty much almost the entire map, he's gonna be putting down spiders with 500,000 health, which is completely mind-boggling. Look at the upgrades on this. All right, 15% range upgrade, 25% damage, 25% cooldown. This is insane. I think we are gonna be breaking records with this unit. This upgraded Titan Clockman is OP. So much better than the upgraded Titan Drillman, which unfortunately, like, yeah, he's super rare and we do have him and we'll probably do, uh, you know, an ultimate versus ultimate, but he's just 
not as good, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. This unit, though, this unit is absolutely godlike. And no, he's not a godly. He's an ultimate. That is just crazy. There is only 559 of them in existence, and you're watching one of them right now, right here at work. Lot, well, I guess not live when you guys are watching it. But anyways, that's you know, that's my little peanut brain talking. We don't really think much. We just kind of blah 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 blah. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Next upgrade coming in twenty thousand dollars. Let's. Go wave 37. Oh, wow. Wave 38, upgraded Titan Clockman doing his work, and he is absolutely demolishing the map. His next upgrade is $25,000. And look at this units aren't even making it past the first little bit, they're just completely getting melted. That sword slash does so much damage, and then the gas bubble that just explodes and wipes out the board is just completely OP. He's got one more upgrade until he's complete. Level seven will be his final form. That'll cost a strong $30,000 though. So we've got a 10X what we've got right now, but don't worry, that'll come quick because this guy just prints money from demolishing these toilets. The waves go by super fast. And of course, look at this. We've got the three Santas maxed out. So they're also helping out $6,000 per round. Yeah, we are gonna get that money really quick. We're already halfway there and only one wave has skipped. $20,000, we're just missing a nice little $10,000 now and we will pop off. Guys, these first 42 waves have been a breeze. And we've got the Cameraman Temple here. Still 400 out of 400 health. This backside of the map has been completely vacant. No units have been here. And I don't think any units will ever get there. There's no way that we can lose this. We are going all the way to wave 500 or something like that. I don't even know. It doesn't matter because we are completely OP. It's only been 14 minutes, as you see in the top right-hand corner, and we are already at wave 44 and counting. The upgraded Titan Clockman is maxed out. We're gonna try and place a few more, maybe one over here, a little safer, and he's still gonna reach the backside, and he's also still in range of the DJ TV. Yeah, look at this. Already reaching all the way over there. We've got our clock spiders just in case anything gets by. And they've each got 500,000 health. Like, that's a lot. And we haven't had to use any of the abilities, right? We've got our mind burn. We've got the rewind toilet from the chief clockman. And we've got the ultra time stop from the upgraded titan clockman. These guys are just tearing it up. I don't even know what to say. Like, I've been repeating myself a lot, but I am in awe that I actually have one of these units because these are more than rare. These things are worth so much money, and we have one right here. Write down in the comments what wave you think we're going to get to. I'm going to predict wave 120. That's what I'm going to predict. I know, like, I think the record right now is like 200 and something i don't even know they probably have this unit because i don't see any unit or i don't think any unit is honestly better than this unit right now this unit is just op and i don't see how anything can beat it i just don't know the meta to get that far and honestly i don't really want to play this game for three hours on the same map so i don't think we'll ever go for that you know record we also already have Titan, the, old, the upgraded Titan Drill Man. So we don't need to get on the leaderboard again. But hey, you never know. I'll never say never. Wait, I just said never twice. Uh, well, there's that peanut brain working again. As you can see, the grind, the gear, blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk. The gears are grinding, is what I meant. And uh, that's funny to say because there's actually gears right here that are grinding well they're not really grinding because they're not turning but trust me they're at full force all right 
Look at this, another upgrade, 25,000 there. The giant smooth toilet made it up to here. Is that a joke? Yeah, that's gotta be a joke. Look at me, look at me go. Ha! Um, you know, wait, why is my shirt blue? I thought I had a white undershirt. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm, maybe I lost my wardrobe. Anyways, back to the game. We've got the upgraded Titan Clockman. Only, almost a second one fully maxed out. Look at these units. They're absolutely doing nothing. They're not scaring nobody. We're going to be able to max him out and then put probably just another one. Just keep spamming them. Just look at the damage they do. 109,000 every 0.3 seconds. You times that by three, that's like over 330,000 damage a second. Wow. Those are big numbers. For someone who doesn't have a brain, I sure am good with numbers. <clears throat> well, guys, look at that. Wave 55, we've got two maxed out upgraded Titan Clockman. We've got another one on his way. I don't even know where to put these, but we're going to put him right over here. Come on, that's got to be a good place. How come he doesn't fit there? That seems like a perfect place. Oh, there we go. He's now straight in the middle of the map and we can start upgrading him right away. We haven't even need to put any, my goal is to not put any other DJs down, honestly. I feel like we might have to eventually, but the more units I can keep for this wonderful upgraded type clock, man, the better. I don't know if there's a cap on how many of them I can place. I honestly haven't tried that either, but hopefully there's not. We could just fill the entire map with upgraded Titan Clock. Because that would be so cool. Look at them just glowing up in their fire. Although, I don't know why these units are getting further than I would like them to. But still, it's okay. We dealt with it, right? It's been dealt with. There's no problem. We're missing $4,000 for a little upgrade right there. $20,000. And the next one, of course, is twenty-five, dollars And then $30,000 to max him out. All right, guys, we have skipped to wave 71 where we have another upgraded Titan Clockman down. Giant Turkey Toilet has come out. He's the wave 70 boss. We're now almost fully upgraded on our fourth upgraded Titan Clockman. The turkey has taken a lot of damage, but taking a bit of time to go down. He's down to 30% HP, which is pretty good. But we gotta keep going at it. It's wave 75 and the units are getting a little bit further than you know probably what i'd like to see at this level so we're gonna have to come up with an interesting game plan to make sure we get as fast and far as possible we're missing three thousand dollars we should be able to get it here it doesn't matter anymore whether we get it before or after the wave skip because obviously all our santas are maxed out so it's just a matter of time and just a matter of placing down a new units now okay wait what why didn't that go down there he was greed for a second. Was he not? Hello? I swear I saw green. There we go. We successfully placed him in the lava. And no, we're not trying. But you know, he's right on the edge. He's fine. All right. Don't worry about him. He'll be okay. But that's our fifth upgraded Titan Clockman, all within the range of this one DJ. So, so far, we're doing a good job at accomplishing our mission of not needing to put any more DJs down. Although I'm pretty sure there's no more space within his circle. So we're going to have to figure something out after we get enough money. But first, we are going to upgrade this one and see if we can at least make it to wave 100. Now, that seems kind of far away. It is another 24 waves away, but I've got faith in my team. The upgraded Titan Clockmen are putting in the work and they will be compensated with wave 100. Come on, guys. We can do it. Giant smooth toilet. Taking a while to go down, but he's going to be put into the ground. There we go. I have upgrade again. And look at the range on these guys. That's the most fascinating part is the range on this unit is incredible. Now, of course, they are being, you know, they're, they're being upgraded by the chief clockman in range too. But look, he literally covers the entire map. That's absolutely insane. I don't think there's another unit that has this kind of range at the same time as having so much damage. 
Wow. And the boss does. Look, everything is just getting melted. We're 10,000 away from his next upgrade. That's our fifth upgraded Titan Clockman down. So I don't know if that'll be the last one we're allowed to play. Sometimes it's a five unit cap, which hopefully is not the case, because then we'll have to put down more of the Chief Clockman. And he's he's good, but he's just not as good. You know? So I'd rather put down, obviously, more upgraded Titan Clockman and see how far we can get. Okay, so the dual cargo toilet now, wave 81 boss is gonna spawn. We've got a lot of these toilets, you know, kind of, oh my God, look at all these frost skeleton toilets. I think that was like the wave 50 or 60 boss. And now there's like six of them. And we got all these welder toilets as well. We are definitely gonna need some AOE. Oh no, these guys are getting a little bit far. We're gonna maybe have to use our ultra time stop ability. We'll see. Right now, I think we're gonna be okay as long as the units don't get start, you know, don't start getting put to sleep. I don't even know how to English right now, but that's our worry. As soon as units get put to sleep, things are gonna go down fast. Okay, we've got the massive buzzsaw oven. Come on. We got to keep getting them. The boss is down. I don't even know where he went down, honestly. There's just so many units on the map. I don't know what happened to him. Or I don't even remember seeing him at all. But it's okay. We're doing good. We didn't have to use the ability yet. That's the good part. And hopefully we can push these back and kind of control the map again. Because once units start getting a little far, then that's when we start getting in trouble. Because they kind of it's like a domino effect, right? They start... My units start focusing over here and then everything gets further and further. But as long as we can take care of these units, we should be okay. Yeah, and that's what exactly what's happening. Look at that. Pushing them back all the way. Now we're gonna work on this little clump over here, which was probably all of wave 85 and then wave 86 coming in now with some of the bosses, the giant smooth toilet. You see the giant turkey toilet as well. Oh my God, guys, wave 87, 87, this is solo. Remember, we've got no help from anyone right now, just Peanut and his units. I mean, yes, the OP units, but they're still just my units, all right? Oh, look at that, wave 88, giant smooth toilets. They're going down. We still got place, we got three unit slots available before we need to sell our Santas. Hopefully we can get that far without dying. I mean, right now it's wave 88, so we're doing good, but units are obviously starting to pile up. Look at the waves coming in. That is a crap ton of units. We wanna make sure that we can deal with that. I don't know, now if I use the rewind, no, the ultra time stop, I'm just wondering if all the units get that 50% more damage boost, or if it's just the one unit that I use it. I don't know. Good question. Maybe a Talanthric Sir can answer that. Or if anyone else knows, feel free to write it down in the comments. I'll maybe half believe you. Oh no. Okay, we've got, we've probably got to stop that. Okay, nope, we got it. I didn't need to use it. Now, I don't know what the cooldown is on this. So I don't, I just want to use it as a last resort, right? We don't want it. Oh my God, the broken heart toilet. Okay, wave 91. We might have to use things here. Oh, the glitch toilet is getting far. Come on, get him. Yes, perfect. Okay, you know what? We're doing good. We're doing good. No need to panic. That's the key is we can't panic. Do not panic ever. 5,000 there, and we're gonna put another DJ down right over here to boost these units. Gotta boost them up, oh my god. Units are getting far, these guys are really far. I really don't wanna lose right now. Oh no, everything is asleep. Okay, ultra time stop is maybe gonna need to be used here. I'm not sure yet, I haven't made up my mind, but there are a lot of toilets coming in. The broken heart included. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use the ultra time stop. There we go. 
Okay, everything needs to go, guys. Come on, melt all these units. Why, why are they not all focusing these guys? The Frost Skeleton, they need to go. They are so far down the map. And I just want to make sure... Okay, he's getting targeted. He still has so much health. And we do have the Rewind Toilet. Oh my god, that is a short cooldown for this ability. Because the Rewind Toilet cooldown is like 600 seconds. Really freaking long. But I think we're going to be okay. We've got the Frost Skeletons. We might have to use the Rewind. But I think we should be okay. This guy's going to need to get upgraded. There we go. Oh, he's put to sleep. No good. No good. No good. No good. Come on. Oh my god. This is going to come down to the wire. I don't want to use it, but I might have to use it. Oh no, the glitch toilets reached us. The glitch toilets are the ones who got us, guys. I can't believe we lost to the glitch toilets. We lasted 31 minutes, 55 seconds alone on wave 96. Oh, so close, but guys, look at that, 89 wave speed, 1,040 coins, a total of 2,080, 1,100 XP. I mean, hey, that's pretty good for a solo round. If you can do better, let me know, or if you saw my mistake, something, you know, I could have done differently, write it down in the comments. You never know. First, first of all, I'll probably answer you. Second of all, you're gonna help me get a little further. Where's the knife upgraded Titan Speaker Man? I've been seeing this all over the place. I have not seen him yet. I gotta add him to my collection. I've got all the other units. And where is this guy? Uh, okay, he's definitely not here. We've got all these units. Uh, so he's gotta be in the shop, right? Okay, we've got the 1% chance on the hyper. You see that? Um, he's not in the exclusive units. Guys, where do I get this knife upgraded? Let me know, because I have no idea where to get this thing. Is he in the new... Okay, we've got Rankless. Wait, I'm, I'm not even a toilet noob. Hello? Oh my god, look at my XP. I'm missing literally, what is it, 72 XP to become a toilet noob. Oh, let me know what your ranks are. You're probably better than me, but obviously I haven't used... Oh, I have two. I didn't even use... I probably should have used that, but hey, it is what it is, guys. We'll see you next time for the next episode of Peanut. And don't forget to stay nutty.